published 0247 EDT. 14 October 2017 updated 0300 EDT. 14 October 2017. When Barcelona lost one third of their MSN in the summer, their youngest member by five years, it left some wondering how big of a blow it would be to the La Liga giants. Neymar's pounds 198 million move to Paris Saint Germain was a loss, but Barca have not looked like missing him yet, largely because of the brilliance of Lionel Messi. Messi has scored 11 goals in seven La Liga games, his greatest start to a season ahead of facing a favorite opponent in Atletico Madrid on Saturday. So, could a 4.40 goal season actually follow Lionel Messi will go into the game against Atletico Madrid with an average of 1.6 goals a game Neymar's departure to Paris Saint-Germain was supposed to leave Barcelona in crisis 201,617-37 goals 201,516-26 GOALS 201,415-43 GOALS 201,314-28 goals 201,213-46 goals 201,112-50 goals and in 201,100 112, Messi got 50 league goals. In 201,213, he got 46. He then scored 43 two seasons later, before coming close with 37 last campaign. Now, he is averaging 1.6 a game and leading Barcelona in life post Neymar. Their game against Atletico at the new Wanda Metropolitano Stadium on Saturday night comes less than a week after Messi showed again why he is the man for the big occasion. Just three days ago, the 30-year-old dragged Argentina to the 2018 World Cup with a hat-trick against Ecuador. Only a win would do, and they were 10 down within the first minute, but it finished Messi 3, Ecuador 1. His hat-trick made him the first player in the history of South American qualifying to score 20 goals. It likewise meant Messi remains the only Argentinian to have scored a completive goal for his country in the last 11 months. The 30-year-old has shown no signs of slowing down in the latter part of his Barcelona career La Luca appearances 7 goals 11 assists 2 Champions League appearances 2 goals 2 assists 0 International appearances 3 goals 3 assists 0 or all of Argentina were counting on him, and he duly delivered. Now, his attention turns to Atletico, who are already a favorite opponent of his in 34 games against Diego Simeon's side, Messi has 27 goals, with 22 of those coming in La Liga. A brace on Saturday would see them replace Sevilla as the side who Messi has scored the most against in Spain's top flight. There's a good chance that will happen too, given their history. He has scored five in his last six in La Liga against Atletico. In their last meeting, it was an 86th-minute winner from Messi that saw Barcelona win away at the Vicente Calderon. On Saturday night, he will have former Chelsea defender Philip Luis for company. Luis explained this week how he intends to stop Messi with brutal honesty I'm always in the butcher role. The only way to stop Messi and Ian is to foul him. Otherwise, if I'm alone, I'll only get the ball one in 20 times. I have to use other weapons. I know the best way to stop him. If he feels comfortable, you're dead. I feel I do pretty well against him when we play, although he always scores against us. Messi is so good that he can win La Liga even with a mediocre team, which is not the case. Messi fired Argentina into the World Cup with a crucial hat trick during the international break. Messi took his goal tally for the season to 16 goals in just 12 appearances for club and country. Not only is he inspiring Argentina, but he is helping Barcelona to forget the exit of Neymar. The last nine Ballon d'Ors have been shared between Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. With one 30 and the other 32, it's getting to that time when a new winner could soon crop up. Wanting to have the spotlight to himself was supposedly one of the reasons why Neymar left. Despite his departure, Messi has made sure they haven't been left to look short of a superstar in attack. Luis Figo said this week 
that Barca's prestige took a hit when they were forced to sell Neymar to PSG, but that the Spanish side knew how to survive. It's impossible that clubs like Barcelona or Madrid only depend on one player, Figo said. Of course, Hess a big loss because Hess one of the best football players in the world. Let's see how they deal with that during the season. So far, they're doing just fine.